Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. Today I'm disguised as a construction worker because there's a lot of new construction in this residential neighborhood. That'll help me sneak a whole lot of gear into a city park behind some homes under development, so let's roll. Nobody should suspect a thing because there's workers all over this place and uh, nobody thinks to come up and ask a guy with a wheelbarrow if they're camping or not. Okay, we got some porta potties here, so that's awesome news. We got a good path behind here with some trees, which is where I want to go. There's some roofers there, so I'm just gonna act like I'm doing something for the trails here. My best disguise, I'm gonna start picking up some garbage here. Put her in the wheelbarrow. And there's a good trail here, so I'm gonna see if I can get this wheelbarrow in there and pick up a few more pieces of trash. Looks like some pretty good woods in here. This'll do just fine. Not worried about the roofing crew because they're busy on what they're doing. They get paid by the bundle, so they're going as quickly as they can without worrying about little old me. Drag the wheelbarrow in a little further here. I'm gonna just walk around and explore a bit. Oh boy. Well, if I haven't found an existing stealth camp, this is uh, obviously some kids just set this up to hang out here. So, I got a seat tonight, that's awesome. I'm gonna slowly get that wheelbarrow a little closer and uh, get this high-vis stuff off once I'm in the woods here, and then we'll go into camel mode. wheelbarrow over here. I'm just gonna cover things up a little bit. this place is going to need a little bit of cleanup. That's okay. I'm assessing right now if it's hammock territory or not. This kind of looks like not because there's a lot of dead trees and um, I've got enough stuff to rig something up. But time for step two because the hardest part's all over. I can just sleep on the ground here. I'll be just fine. Oh, that's good. Pilsner, fantastic. Well, those homes under construction are not gonna be the problem. What will be the problem is that walking trail. So before I get too comfortable, I'm gonna try and uh, cover me up a little bit here so that I can relax, because we're coming up to prime dog walking hour. Now I just sit and wait. One of the benefits of this time of year is it gets dark so early. Um, we probably got an hour and a half of daylight left and sounds like the roofers are just packing up. So as soon as I'm sure they're gone, I can get out to the trail and see just how obvious this is. And I hope it's not very obvious. Time to go for a little tour and see just how blatant we are. That's 
it's awesome. Aside from the table that was already there, I can't see really anything. And I'm probably 20 feet away. Perfect. Oh, is that ever sweet. Can't see a thing. I love this camel cloth. I'm going to use this break in dog walking traffic to sneak back into my fort for the night. Can you see it yet? There we are. This is awesome. I normally feel a lot more exposed than I actually am, so it was great to get out and check that out. I'm still gonna sit down and not stand up too much, because this netting only goes up about four and a half feet. And when I stand up, I can see people on the trail. Now, if I can see them, they can see me if they look hard enough or if I'm moving too much. So we'll just hunker down here for a little bit. Then I'll start some meal prep. The one issue I will point out with that costume I wore is that all that PPE was brand new. And anybody in construction knows that real PPE is beaten up like that old cone there. It never gets replaced. And the only reason you're wearing all new stuff is it's your first day on the job, or you don't work very hard, or you're a stealth camper uh, trying to act like a construction worker. So I really wasn't trying to fool the construction workers. They're busy. They don't care. It's the, the folks that wouldn't know, the dog walkers. They're going to see somebody in the vest and say, oh, he probably belongs here. So it worked for what it was intended to. I'm going to sleep under the stars tonight. Another thunderstorm? Ha! I'd like to see that. Pedestrians have passed, and I'm gonna saute some uh, onions with uh, you know. one pot bandits at it again. I'm gonna do spaghetti. Won't quite be mom spaghetti, but I found these uh, finely chopped tomatoes. All the best things in life come with a pop top. And I'll get this sauce kind of watery, then I can just throw the uh, spaghetti or angel hair pasta into it, and it's time. I got this pizza sauce too, because it also had a pop top. Oh yes. I think everything is going to be all right. I've got the sauce on hold for now. It's all mixed up and ready to go as soon as I want to eat, uh, which won't be for a little bit here. So it's cooling down tonight quite uh, a bit. It'll be below freezing, probably around 30 Fahrenheit, minus one Celsius. So, time to throw on another jacket. In the future, I won't be able to camp here. Those buildings are all under construction now, so nobody can see me. But if that was full of good, wholesome, God-fearing families looking down on me camping here, quaffing fine German Pilsner, um, the switchboard at the police station would be jammed. So. We're just gonna enjoy this fleeting moment of time before this all becomes more suburbs. Cheers, everyone. The sun has set and it is darkening. However, there's this little trail that I wanna go poke my head down. It is about a hundred foot wide strip of trees. So we'll see what's on the other end of this. Just a lot of future suburbs here, transit center, and it looks like a full moon coming up tonight. We're right on time. 
That's awesome. A friendly little moon will provide us with a lot of light so we don't have to use the flashlight as much. Just perfect. Oh. Home sweet home. All right, time to go. We've got uh, propane and butane mixture here, which is a good thing because it's so cold right now that this, if this is actual just pure butane, wouldn't burn. So we'll get this warmed back up again. Oh uh, yeah, doesn't that look stable? I am gonna require my spice package in here. Spices, salt, and sugar. And, uh, mm, smells like Italian spice already. So that's heating up. Time to set up the bunk. Gonna be a cozy night. Oh, yeah. The sauce is as boiling as it's gonna be, so I'll dump this in and really hope for the best. That's what we do here. Hope for the best. Uh, back in the day, I didn't call it stealth camping. We just used to go out to the bush in the city, wherever we could find it, and have some beers, maybe a little fire. And we called it the spot or the watch or the cliff or whatever we found, um, the pines. And we always had these spots like this. And it's like the city version of a bush party, I guess. Dump in some pre-cooked meatballs. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Perfect. Spaghetti and meatballs. Parmesan here. Oh, <laughs> take the whole chunk. <laughs> Of course, I have to say cheers to all of the good folk I wish were with us here, uh, enjoying step twos and homemade paschetti <laughs> beside a construction zone. Mm -mm -mm. Oh wow, I gotta do this more. This one actually worked out really good. Mm. And of course, thanks for all the folks that have um, given cool comments, uh, followed along, <laughs> stood up for me for the trolls, and yeah, I just kind of do this weird stuff, of course, and I just happened to notice on my phone, we've hit 700,000 subscribers. So thank you for everybody for subscribing of course uh, all 700,000 of you <laughs> and there's gonna be plenty more of this stuff coming mm. all right I think it's about that time uh, crawling in here under the moonlight and uh, yeah, just right here on the tarp. I think things are gonna be good. I'll shut this off here. We'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning. There is no better sleep than under the stars or at a very fine hotel. The sleeping bag did the job and kept me warm, but the ground wasn't very fluffy, so I had to roll around a bit through the night. But uh, I've had worse sleeps than that, that's for sure. It's so awesome these chairs were here. Just boiling up some water in the pot to try and clean out all this old spaghetti stuff. And I'm gonna do a pretty thorough cleanup here. Try to make it look as good as possible. And yeah, the beauty is like there's so little to pack up. Just throw it in the wheelbarrow and walk right out. So you can see where things are going. I'm just gonna build a whole fort out of these one day. Get things mostly packed up here, just doing a clean up. Uh, oh, somebody threw used on the ground. These things are all over the place. Uh, just throw them in. Right here. Nice thing about the wheelbarrow. Can sure pack a lot of garbage in it. Ha <laughs> ha! Time to get back to reality. Just in time, the roofers have showed up and they're noisy. Right on, we are ready to go. Goodbye, camping spot. Right on, that was a good success. Now, just gotta quickly use the restroom and then we're out of here. Yeah, perfect, we're off to go see if the car is still where I parked it. Right on. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think I got away with it. If you like these videos, um, please don't be shy to subscribe and uh, follow along, because I'm not stopping anytime soon. And uh, thank you everybody for watching, and the comments. But uh, get this packed up and go find some breakfast somewhere. but they're having Monopoly right now, so I can't resist. Hi there, my name is Andrea. We're gonna get free today. Oh, hey, uh, could I get two um, BLT McMuffin meals? Okay, what's the drink? Um, one of them will be an extra large Earl Grey tea with two milk and one sugar. Okay. And the other is a uh, extra large coffee with two milk and one sugar. 
Uh, no thanks. Thank you. The other meal is for my wife. <laughs> you bet. These uh, sunglasses. One of the nose pieces fell off of it. Um, oh hey, thanks. I'll be the coffee. So it's it hurts a little when I wear these glasses. But things could be worse, I suppose. Please collect for the bagels, number one. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Alright. All I really wanted was the uh, tea. However, they put McDonald's Monopoly pieces on all the breakfast stuff. Okay, this has absolutely nothing to do with camping. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'm gonna have a Halloween special coming for next week. And um, of course, uh, I did get some suggestions for like a savory entree type of main course Halloween theme thing. But uh, please give me your suggestions for, for those types of things because there's tons of desserts, you know, like things shaped like mummies or, you know, spooky stuff. But uh, there's not much for like, you know, the main dinner meal that's Halloween-y. You know, I found a few kind of elaborate things like, you know, zombie fingers and stuff like that or a hot dog wrapped up with uh, pastry so it looks like a mummy but uh, if you guys got any suggestions I would love to hear them because we are doing the um, doing the Halloween one next week um, just closing in on a location for that but uh, I got a pretty interesting shelter so uh, um, cheers guys uh, looks like my food is coming here I don't want to get poor fella on the camera uh, what was your order? Uh, it's two of the uh, BLT um, McMuffins. McMuffins. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Yeah, I hate getting people on camera without uh, their permission or anything or them even knowing. So, um, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, give me those suggestions and better get this food home to beautiful wife. Um, and then I'll edit this and just start the uploading process. So, see you guys next week.